Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like what you see, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with friends, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Thank you. I guess this is one of those videos where I'm going to be talking about my Victorinox Classic SD collection, which continues to grow. Um, as you can see, I've got three of the 2020 limited editions out there, plus two more from the Swiss Knife Shop. Um, I know these videos do not appeal to everybody, but I know I also have quite a few fans of the uh, Victorinox Classic SD line. And I tell you what, if you like the Classic SDs or if you're just uh, an outdoorsy kind of person, you're really going to like the uh, 2020 Limited Edition knives. There are so many great options uh, that you have out of the 10 that are there. As you see, I've already picked up three. I'm thinking about picking up two or three more also. But these three uh, appealed to me right away, especially this one right here. I saw this one when they were first bringing it out, and it's like, wow, how can they not do that one? And it's the uh, Gone Fishing. And you see you've got the uh, lures, the line, the classic sign that says Gone Fishing. And then on the back side, you have a uh, fly fisher out in the stream catching a nice trout. And it's just a really good... Uh, artwork on it and it's just really a fantastic little knife you know it's typical of your uh, classic SDs so you've got your pin blade uh, your nail file with the uh, uh, screwdriver tip and then the ever popular scissors um, that are really some of the best scissors you're going to find on a pocket knife regardless of the size and obviously the key ring now the um, the gone fishing one has the red tip uh, tweezers uh, which is uh, a little uncommon you usually don't see the red tip tweezers uh, they usually do show up on limited editions uh, but in this case not every limited edition has one um, but the uh, gone fishing one did and then you have obviously your typical toothpick here now the other two, like I said, these are all outdoors kind of uh, sporting kind of things. So the next one up is the hiker, or hiking rather. And again, you see the uh, beautiful scenery of the mountain and the wilderness and everything else. And your typical uh, hiking boots on a person's legs. And then on the back side, you just have a picture of the hiking boot from above uh, with the so common uh, red laces. Now, if anybody has done hiking in Europe, you know those hiking boots with the red laces. Uh, very common. Any case, uh, really a, just a terrific looking scene on there. And finally, the third one I've gotten so far is right here, which is the bicycle. And these are things that I, lo uh, I love to do all the time. I love to go fishing. I love hiking. And I bicycle as often as I possibly can, including all winter long. So backside, you've got the tire. And then on the front side, you have the bicycle chain. And this is really cool because uh, the other thing I do is I collect any kind of uh, Victorinox knife that has um, the bicycle theme going on with it. And so my bicycle now joins the ride my bike and uh, my other bicycle one that's red and blue. And I guess I'll have to also get the uh, City of Love one, but that's really a, a scooter, not a bicycle. And so that brings us to the boxes in the back, the knives I recently picked up from Swiss Knife Shop. And we'll start with this one, which is... The cow knife, 67477. Now, I really like uh, various cow knives that I have from Victorinox. Um, so let's take a look at those real quick first. First was just Alps Love here. Uh, this is one of the last one, more recent ones I picked up. Notice it's got the red, red uh, uh, tweezers there. But you notice on the back side it has a bunch of cows, which is pretty cool. And then... Um, this is probably my favorite of all my cow knives right here. This is a uh, Yodelehi Mu. Um, there we go. Oops, here we go. Yodelehi Mu. So you've got a cow yodeling on the front, and you see him standing on the uh, the uh, mountaintop in the background there. And then uh, last year was Alps Cheese, and you got the 
very close up picture of the cow there with the little Swiss flag in the background. And what I picked up now was cow. This is a Swiss knife store classic. Uh, and it is uh, one of theirs only. And you see what it is. It is basically your classic SD splotched out like a Holstein cow, which is pretty cool. And it's not the first uh, of the Holstein style cow knives I got. I also have this one here uh, by Wenger from a while back. It was uh, promoting Switzerland. So now I've got two of my um, Holstein cow knives. Uh, you know, the, you know, I guess this one's like the calf for the, uh, the full grown dairy cow. So there's my Holstein cow knife by Swiss Knife Store. And then the next one I got is Pugs, Space Pugs. Well, what could that be? Well, obviously it's a pug in space. And then we have it here. They got a little pug wearing a little space helmet on an asteroid. And then on the back side, you've got pugs flying through the sky. Now, this was obviously inspired by um, the Victorinox spacewalk. We see that here. See the difference between the two. You have the uh, the little pooch in a space suit and flying through the air and out in space. And then on the back side, you have um, an astronaut. And you notice the long cord running around the leash over to the, uh, the uh, puppy on the other side comes up and around so but this one is pugs in space or space pugs so i had to get that one and uh yeah i collect the um the space uh, classics also so i also have the uh the lunar landing one from um swiss knife store in the classic sd and uh i think this one was called constellations which you notice there you have the victor knox cross and then you have the archer, and then on the back side you've got a uh, a little classic SD again. On the back side of the knife is a constellation. So that's my uh, where my collection is going. Uh, and I guess I'm going to have to pick up this year's 2020 cow and go back and look for the uh, the scooter for uh, uh, the uh, bicycles. In any case. There we have the latest on my classic SDs. Thank you for visiting Knife Chats. I hope you enjoyed your time here. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that notification bell so that you will be notified when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. See you soon.